Pirates, I'm Pink Deadpool, and welcome to my first ever top five list. <coughs> Thanks, I guess. Anyway, to commemorate completing the first half of the game and to promote the return of the game to my channel, this is the top five songs from Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. Back in the gaming days of yore, about the year 1995, Video games were limited graphically by today's standards, having to rely more on the music and story given, usually through poor translated script. It was usually the music in the games during the time that triggered the most emotions. What? You think just because I'm a guy I can't have emotions? Jesus, I got, I got feels. Don't touch me. Just fair warning, this video may contain spoilers. For those who want to play Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo on their own time, you may want to watch this video at another time. Number 5 Kefka Palazzo When he's first introduced, he is portrayed as an underling to Emperor Cashel, who is a wild and crazy guy. Throughout the progression of the game, Kefka manipulates murders and does pretty much just horrible evil things to achieve his goals of destroying the world and he does it in a very dramatic fashion. Kefka's theme reflects the prancing madman's rise to power from the playful start of the theme to its triumphant crescendo as it pulls you into the character's madness. Every time you hear the start of the theme, you always catch a glimpse into the twisted and evil mind of Kefka Palazzo. Usually, him doing some really evil, evil things. Bad boy, Kefka. On a side note, I've always hated Kefka's laugh. Oh, God. Number four. Shadow's theme not only sets the tone for the introduction of the character, who you first meet in a tavern, but also adds a somber tone to the mysterious ninja. If you're lucky enough to find Shadow's very vague backstory and piece together the clues available, you're rewarded with an even more somber backstory to a tormented soul, seeking repentance from a past of questionable decisions. Plus, there are a lot of rumors saying that Shadow is the father to Realm. But hey, that's just a theory. Game theory! I found, through several playthroughs of the game, that Shadow's story is the story with the most emotional feels. Shadow's character goes through an emotional roller coaster of triumph and sadness from his backstory of robbing a train with one of his best friends to hearing about a child that he might have and that's as much as you get for his backstory unfortunately maybe this theme is on the list because of how many times I played through the game but really who could go wrong with that very catchy very somber tone or maybe I just have a biased opinion number three late in the first half of the game your party will reach a town called Thalasma a kooky town by first appearances because the theme gives the village a kooky vibe. That is a great change of pace at the particular point in the game's story. Spoiler alert, shit went down. People died. It was not pretty. Anyway, when you meet Drago for the first time, he seems like a kooky old man who is obviously trying to divert attention away from the fact that everyone in the village uses magic and could possibly be descendants of the warriors of the Magi. Hashtag irresponsible parenting for teaching a child to use fire. And your first impression of Strago is backed up by the kooky tone of Strago's theme, which also kind of ties into Realm's theme, which isn't actually on this list. Sorry, but hers is a very nice theme and all, but it's not as good, in my opinion, as Strago's. I like Strago's theme mainly because it fits him. That, it's like how it sounds, so, whatever. Number two. The first time you, as the player, hear this theme, 
you are battling the single strongest enemy in the first half of the game, the Atma weapon. If you aren't prepared for the fight, Atma can make quick work of your group, making it a fierce battle to the death. And the aptly named Fierce Battle theme adds to the epic feel of the game's final dungeon when it's used again for even harder bosses. Fierce Battle is a theme that, in my opinion, is a chaotic battle theme that shows just how crazy some of the combat can be in Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. I myself can't help but get psyched into the combat every time I hear this theme, just going to town on Atma Weapon or one of the goddesses and going, I'm gonna take you down brother, you ain't gonna stop me, I'm gonna win this for all the world. Bring happiness to the world. Yeah. Number one. The Magitech Research Facility is the only time that you'll hear the Devil's Lab theme. And despite the fact that it's only featured in one section of the game, Devil's Lab makes it to the top of my list. From the metallic rhythm to the jazzy bass line, Devil's Lab perfectly complements the Magitech facility. In my younger years, I would stay in the area a bit longer just to enjoy the theme a little while more. Even now, I, when I revisit the game and kind of when I played it in the last time on this, my playthrough, uh, I may or may not have intentionally circled the area a bit longer than usual just to hear it, maybe? I don't know, I thought it was good. I thought it was a good song. Sue me. Thank you very much for listening to me nerd out a little bit about one of my favorite games of all time. Comment below to tell me some of your favorite music from your favorite game. A special thank you to ocremix.org for the music provided in this video. Most of the music featured in this video comes from the Final Fantasy VI Balance and Ruin soundtrack off of the OC Remix website. Once again, thank you for watching this top 5 list. If you like it, please click the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Please remember that this video reflects my own personal opinions, and do not reflect the game designer or music composer's opinions. Any resemblance to these opinions are strictly coincidental. I'm Pink Deadpool, and this has been my top 5 soundtracks from Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo. Thank you for watching, and we will see each other in the next video. Till then, peace out. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland of magic and to exist. Uh, don't go in it. Oh dear, okay, go up, go up. Get away from everybody. Now they're gonna hunt you down.